No matter what people tell you, words and ideas can change the world. Robin Williams, RIP. What's up, guys? It's G and G. We're here to talk to you about the Pit Fit workout for today. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, we're gonna start a warm up. Two rounds of 30 mountain climbers. Crazy's gonna hit the deck. Shoulders right above those hands. Kick one knee forward. Bouncing back and forth. Left foot, right foot. Trying to keep the foot off the ground when it's in the front. Toe in the back is on the floor. We're gonna do that 30 times. So 15 each leg. We're then gonna go into 10 lunges with a twist. Grace is going to step down with her right leg, left knee touch the floor. She's going to twist towards that front leg, stretching out that back a little bit. Nice and simple. Stand back up. Magnificent. Then we're going to go down for 10 pro track, reach track, push ups, scat push ups here. Same position as we were for the mountain climbers. Nice plank position. Shrugging those shoulder blades together in the back, pinching them together, and then pushing the floor away, keeping those elbows nice and straight, keeping our core nice and tight throughout that motion. Then we're gonna go on to two rounds of 10 push-ups to downward dog. So she's gonna come back to that plane position again, do a push-up on the floor, chest to deck, push up in that downward dog, push her hips up into the sky, bring her shoulders down into a nice straight line between the hips and hands there. Fantastic. We're then gonna jump up 10 air squats. Everybody loves air squats. <clears throat> Back stays nice and flat, heels stay planted on the ground, down below parallel if you can, as far as you can go, and as low as you can go. <clears throat> We're then going to do 10 hand release push-ups, back to the floor, up and down, up and down. Chest hits the deck, hands come off the ground. Nice and flat push-up, keeping a nice stiff core there, keeping her hips nice and in line. If you can try and keep your hips off the ground throughout this entire rep, that would be awesome. <clears throat> Our strength for today, we're going to be doing tempo dumbbell floor press. We are doing a tempo of two, zero, X, one. So what we're going to do here is we're going to do three sets of 12 to 15 tempo floor press. So Grace is going to lay down on the floor, plant her heels, her hips, and her back on the floor. She's going to push dumbbells up. She's going to do two seconds down. One, two, zero break. Push right back up. One second break to have a breath at the top. Two seconds down is the important part here. Nice and steady. So we're going to do 12 to 15 reps there. And then we're going to go over to the rig or one of these lovely poles that we have strategically placed around the gym for your use. And we're going to take a rubber band or sorry, a resistance band because that sounds far more intimidating than a rubber band. <clears throat> and we're going to do uh, 15 to 20 banded Dante rows. So what she's going to do is she's going to hinge over at the hips, that good morning position. Her back is going to be nice and flat here. And she's going to pull that rubber band down toward her ch chest and release back there. We're going to do 12, uh, sorry, 15 to 20 of those. We're going to do three sets. I'm going to rest as needed between sets. So we'll set a clock and let you guys work on that throughout the time. <clears throat> Our workout is broken into three portions today. We're going to be doing an eight minute AMRAP, a six minute AMRAP, and a four minute AMRAP. So we all know that means as many reps as possible. The first is eight minutes long. You're going to do 10 dumbbell push jerks. So Grace is going to take those dumbbells up to her shoulders, dip, pop, and drop in that power position. Notice on the dip, her knees go out, her shoulders stay above her hips. Nice flat back. As she extends, gets that momentum up overhead. As she catches it, she's in a lock position, but she's in a squat position here. So if she were to catch it and she needed to, she could continue into a squat. She's not arching back. She's not leaning forward. She should be in a nice, powerful squat ready position in the bottom of that catch of that jerk. And she stands it up nice and tall to finish each rep. She will then do eight jumping air squats. She's going to squat down and as she stands up nice and quick, hop in between each one. Those are going to get spicy. Then she's going to do six dumbbell deficit push-ups. She's going to put those dumbbells on the floor. She's going to put her hands either on the handles or on the heads of the dumbbell and she's going to push sorry lower down to the ground chest hits the floor in between the dumbbells and press right back up the heavier the dumbbells you use the bigger the deficit because a bigger dumbbell is going to be further off the ground so choose wisely <clears throat> we're then going to rest two minutes after that eight minutes and then the next portion is going to be a six minute amrap of the same movements however we're decreasing the reps so instead of doing 10, 8, 6. We're going to do 8 dumbbell push jerks, 6 jumping air squats, and 4 deficit push ups. Then we're going to rest 1 minute. We're going to go down to a 4 minute AMRAP. 
we're going to do the same thing again with only six, four, and two. So it's going to be a lot of fun. The weights are staying the same throughout this. The reps go down and the time go down. So we should be keeping the same pace throughout all of these rounds. I want to see you guys moving, moving, keeping a consistent pace through all the movements. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's going to be a long time. It's a lot of work. Start your week right. We'll see you there.